Hey everybody, this is Mark Dematti coming at you with episode 10. I've been doing the same thing for like four episodes now, and I'm still not done. I will be done shortly though. But for now, I'm just going to grind, just finishing a, a little, just a little bit more of a blending. I just feel like it needs some more back and forth. Because I just feel... It's like something over here is not right. I feel like th there's something wrong. This line is a little slight. This bright line right in the middle of the forehead is slightly too harsh. All right, so I'm just going to start. I think I'm just going to start making the nose just to get rid of this majority of nothingness, and so we can kind of jump right into that surgery because we gonna we gonna need to do some surgery to that nose to get it on the face. So that being said, whenever I stop blending, we're gonna make a nose layer. We are going to start out with a rectangle tool and we are going to do exactly what we did before. We want to start with a white rectangle, make sure, or square. Uh, we want to make sure we are, first of all, we want to make sure we can see our points and we want to hit the center and that's going to give us an even center point for our mesh and that's going to allow us and set us up for a perfect gradient mesh so what we could do is we could just rotate it to make it easy because that is the orientation of the nose the center point runs down the uh, like this in like a 45 degree angle I'm going to control click my uh, I'm going to control click my layer my nose layer I don't need to see this layer right now because it's actually distracting me I can actually um, fix it later and I'll show you when we get to that point but right now we have to do exactly what we did in the beginning starting out with the face where we moved the points uh, basically around the perimeter of our nose boundary so let me just take this as a reference just want to look at this then I want to see um, this I just want to see where I set myself up for the boundary so basically I'm going I'm just gonna make a Kind of just like a tall rectangle at the top, kind of like this for now. Kind of making it even as possible at the top. And then I'm going to bring this in and now fill in this gap. And I'm going to make sure this follows the line of the eye because that is where the nose actually ends anyway. It's about, run the line runs like this. So I'm gonna actually have the line come off a little bit so I can do a little bit of blending, um, but I'm just trying to correct it right now to get it straight, have the anchor uh, handle sitting properly. 
I'm gonna need another point in here. That's really what the the case is right now. But I'm gonna wait to add that point because I just want to get the general shape. So I'm just gonna check this layer just to see my boundary again. I'm actually gonna use this right now for my reference and then, because now I have the general shape. I just want to make a perimeter around my improper mesh to blend with the outer area. And you won't even see what's inside this orange. It'll be a separate, high, more uh, detailed, smoother nose. So I'm gonna make sure this follows the center point of the nose. Uh, I'm going to bring these actually all the way down like this. And then I'm going to put this at the center of the highlight right here. And I'm bring this down. Make it curl up like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's check this line. That's fine. Alright, so now we can add our other point up here to fix this. I'm going to bring it into to about there and I'm going to make sure this line stays off the edge of the nose because that's going to be where I'm going to blend on the uh, face layer. This can come down. I'm just going to fix these point and handles. Okay, right now we want to be cautious of how many uh, points we add. We only want to add the necessary amount again because we want to keep this a little bit more simple, just separate from the face layer. Okay, so I'm going to add a point there because this is going to be my boundary for the top of her uh, nostrils. And then I'm going to add a point here and a point here. So I could do one of these. So I'm, I'm moving this point down so I can have it line up uh, the edge of this right here. And this point was too crammed over here. So I had to move everything down to realign to, to about right there is good. Okay, so now you see we're building the shape of the nose, the, uh, the geometry of the nose, how the nature of the lines move across it. So the color will look accurate when we fill it in just like we did with the face. Probably have to do a lot less blending with the nose, one, because it's smaller, and two, because we're going to have a lot less complexity in our mesh, hopefully, uh, by the time we are done and ready to fill in the color for it. So you can see that's what we have so far. I'm just going to shift this to the side a little bit. <coughs> so we only want to capture uh, what we need to capture. I'm actually gonna do I'm actually gonna curl these like this because I think the geometry of the nose moves a little bit more like this in space but it's a little bit smoother I have it too harsh right now All right, so now I think I'm going to add a point to close off these nostrils. I'm going to add a point for the center of the nostril. And the center is also going to close off this darker portion of this nostril right here. Because I ain't wasting no detail. Since this is the bottom of 
the opening of the nostril line we're gonna have to bring this guy in and it's gonna have to support that um, general trend because if that is the line it's on it is the barrier line and it has to continue to stay there as the barrier line so we could do kind of like that I'm going to add a point in right here and a point right here so I can capture this color boxed in this darkness and then this is going to get that dark brown and then I can have one more right there to capture um, this tone Okay, so we have that and that's almost done. So I'm going to add one more point here to close in this nostril I'm going to move this guy up because this is the bottom line. Just fix these points here. I'm just going to box this off now. I'm just going to move this here and you can see how we're shaping details on the face within a mesh, boxing in colors where it needs to land, making sure the boundaries are lined up. So when we do fill in the color, no um, color leaks to places where it's not supposed to be and you're kind of drawing as realistically as possible or, or as accurate as possible to the drawing itself I mean to the image itself now we got to do this guy this is the bottom this needs to go no this is not the bottom this is the bottom middle about like there This is going to go right there follow that median i'm going to move this one right here that's pretty much that's not too much uh detail in that one the variation so it's all right if we just mess with that uh shading a little bit and we're going to close it off here Okay, so that's kind of what we're left with now. All right, so now I'm just gonna close off the right side. All right, but nonetheless, that's pretty much our uh, nostril shapes. So we're gonna move on and basically uh, conform the edges the hard edges almost of the nostril. I mean, of that. we are going to move forward and construct the boundary, like these lines, the edges of the nose. Um, and just like this edge, we're gonna construct this edge on this mesh because all the details are gonna be on this mesh. So we're gonna start by adding a point right on the boundary like that. And we are going to make sure that this line stays consistent on that boundary. It almost doesn't matter too much about our external shape as long as it crosses over our fine mesh that we've already blended, uh, we can blend it with that one. All right, so I wanna make sure I can capture this color, this shadow here, so I'm gonna add a point there. And pretty much, I just want one more point here to get that lighter tone. So I'm pretty happy about that shape right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a point right after the hard edge so I can really define that color change and that definition in the face. And then I'm going to need another one right over here because I lose this or I'm actually going to have to make these edits to change up the mesh. The mesh didn't make sense right there because that line diverted. Okay, so we're going to need a point right in between, right there. This guy's gotta come down. Okay, so we're gonna leave that like that over there for now. Um, but the only thing, you know what, what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to correct this. We're going to have to bring this guy all the way down because uh, now the mesh doesn't make sense.
All right, so after that fast forward, you could really see how I manipulated the mesh uh, to follow the line um, of the boundary of the nose. So you could see right here, we follow the boundary of the nose, following it, following it, and we're still taking that same line all the way around, and we're gonna fix this um, on the next episode, but we're gonna fix this line to go all the way across this too. Um, and that's gonna remain, keep that consistency throughout. But we're gonna do that next time. My name is Mark Dematti. You can find me on Instagram at M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S, Mark Darts. And thank you for watching. See you on the next episode.